Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to Beverly Hillbilly Spikes and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get started, I got a question for you. Uh, what is it about the Beverly Hillbillies that you would like to personally see? Give me some ideas of some things to uh, make videos of. Give me requests, and I'll do my best for you. Do this over on the Andy Griffith Show, Facts Tree, all the time, and it goes over well. So let's try it over here. What do you say? But today's video is on those stupid old critics of the Beverly Hillbillies and how the Beverly Hillbillies responded. Take a look. Uh, after an Emmy night of May the 26th of 1963, when the Hillbillies first went home empty-handed, Carl Reiner, creator and producer of the Dick Van Dyke Show, sent a special letter to Paul Henning expressing sincere regret that the Hillbillies did not win an Emmy, despite its popularity, which towered over that of his own show. Moreover, Danny Thomas, top man of the Van Dyke Show, also, and also a Hillbillies fan, sent Henning a box of scars. By the year that we were nominated, said Nancy Colt, the Hillbillies were invited to present something, but they wanted them in costume. It was very demeaning. Since then, I've walked out of the Academy. By the time I was nominated for an Emmy in 1967, none of us were members of the Academy at all, and I've never gone back. Nevertheless, until her death, Culp carried a card for the Screen Actors Guild in the Motion Picture Academy. The loss of Emmys was not the first crushing blow to the Hillbillies Company. Irony surrounded the series' whole existence. Uh, the ratings were overwhelming. Yet the recognition for the creator and performers by peers was near zero. Nancy Culp said, as for the criticism, we finally just said, screw you, in effect. Uh, the thing that angered and infuriated us the most was the lack of recognition that they gave Paul for his brilliance. I think the man is a genius. And these half-baked entrepreneurs in Hollywood didn't seem to recognize that humor doesn't necessarily speak in an English accent. Uh, they were the... Uh, pseudo-intellectuals that tried to tear us apart. At first, we were very angry. Then we just got used to it and kept hoping time after time that Paul would get an award. Nonetheless, the Beverly Hillbillies was a powerful show with immense popularity feeding it. It was also, it was so popular, in fact, that CBS decided in the late 60s to begin airing episodes in its morning lineup. The show scored great big, big in Great Britain, where it was first, uh, the first TV comedy show in Britain TV history to be given a second showing in the same week. The Japanese couldn't get enough of this homespun American characters at its height. Hillbillies was broadcast in 52 countries. I like that. I like the uh, Nancy Culp's screw you uh, statement. For lack of a better word, I can't, I am not thinking real straight today. Um, I just said, it, it blows me away how Hollywood, and this still goes on today, man, how Hollywood are, think they are so above everyone else and uh, how the rest of the country uh, doesn't, doesn't know how, doesn't know anything. We, I mean, they got to direct us, you know, blows my mind. And they're in such a little bubble that they have no idea what's going on in the real world. It's crazy. Uh, with the school, with the guy. Uh, George Clooney went to school with him here and a uh, regular guy it so he goes to Hollywood and he's no I mean still a nice guy but he's, he's it's all the weird ideas they put in their heads I don't know what happens I don't know anyway enough of that it just kind of makes me mad that the hillbillies got treated so such uh, this way anyway Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Um, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Just check them out and subscribe. Um, hey, if you're an Andy Griffith fan, 
Andy Cribb with the show facts and trivia. Head on over there. Some really cool stuff going on over there, too. All the links are in the description below. This video right here, see the description, look under there. But if you can't get to it, hit me up in the comment uh, section and I will send you the link personally. I'll even autograph it. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys. Have a great day. God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Thank you.